So first thing that I did guys is as you can see here was uh, I worked on the bodies first so um, you can see here that I've used um, in cursor slash uh, I guess infiltrator bodies um, everything was uh, based black as well so uh, the thing that I really liked about these bodies I believe it was on tabletop titans or tactics tabletop tactics I think it was that uh, one of the guys had their flesh terrors army that was commissioned and they had this really cool effect that the uh, the the artist had done where they'd basically used this this armor plating uh, to to sort of uh, look like flayed flesh as the under uh, the under armor there and I thought that was really cool and with the law behind the death company and the fact that they've submitted to the black rage I really like the idea behind that so what I went ahead and did was based everything black and then underneath in between these plates I went ahead and used a bit of screamer pink um, once the screamer pink was down I'd then gone ahead and done a Reichlin flesh shade and then just a lighter red over the the raised edges there and I think it's given a really cool effect to be honest with you I'll try and get that a bit closer uh, there we go um, and then obviously I went ahead and made sure that was the same as well on the uh, underparts here as well. So I think it's given a really cool effect and it definitely makes these guys look unique. And I went ahead and did that with uh, every single one of the, uh, the the Marines there as well. So the bodies I think look really cool. I was really happy with how they came out. On the same note, I'm not very good at sort of edge highlighting um, and I'm not very patient to be honest with you. So um, what I went ahead and did was I used uh, two different greys. I Over the base coat I went ahead and just did a bad and black, really watered it down. And then I went ahead and used a dry brush of Eshing grey. Um, just over most of the marine and just on the edges and the, the sharpest bits I went ahead and used a Mechanicus standard grey as a dry brush as well and I think that's come out really well I might go ahead and do some edge highlighting I'm not too sure uh, I'm just not very good at it and uh, I guess I need probably a bit more practice so uh, let me know if there's uh, any techniques that you can uh, suggest to me that will help me to get better with that but otherwise really happy with how the bodies came out uh, next thing I want to do, just really briefly, is just go over the arms. The arms were pretty basic, to be honest with you. So the bolter arms here, I think there should be bolt pistols, but I quite like the fact that these are oversized big bolters and you know they are the death company, so I don't think they'd worry too much about the weight. They just want to get stuck into combat. So I went ahead and I just used uh, some Primaris arms from that set and then uh, just sorted out the, the, the bolter there as well. I've left them blank intentionally because I'm not sure if I want to use a decal there or if I want to go ahead and, and maybe put something else there, but I didn't want there to be too much going on here. I might be able to put maybe another red X or something like that on there, but I, I'm not too sure to be honest with you. So any ideas and suggestions, let me know. I think that'd be, uh, that'd be helpful for me, but otherwise, um, one thing I also wanted to do was make sure the arm poses were a little bit different. So because these shoulder pads are Primaris, it was quite easy to just go ahead and just slot them in. So uh, Primaris shoulder pads, nice and easy done, no problems at all. So that was all these bolter arms there for the uh, the, the left arms. Um, the next thing then, I guess, is the other arms. So as you can see here, I, uh, I picked up these Thunder Hammers on Etsy, I believe it was. And to be honest with you, I didn't have many Thunder Hammers at all. I think in the set for the Death Company, you get one Thunder Hammer. Um, uh, obviously, that's not enough. And I want these guys to be an Alpha Strike unit. So I thought, why not? Let's get some Thunder Hammers. I didn't know that they were going to be this big. I mean, they are pretty ludicrously big. I mean, these are the sort of things that it looks like Terminators would use more than just regular Marines. But I think it is kind of a nice effect that... The Death Company do have them because they, you know, they're ready to die in combat. So I can't imagine they'd be too bothered about the weight. Um, first things first, about the actual weapon itself, uh, it comes with the arm, uh, the hand piece there. So what I did was I've used a Primaris arm from that same Incursor uh, Infiltrator set, cut it off there, and then just stuck the arm on, based everything. That worked quite well. Can't tell a huge amount, but it is quite a small hand there. The reason that I went ahead and had to do a bit of messing about here was uh, with some green stuff to fill in here was because I had to chop the arm down a little bit because these shoulder pads come with the um, the Death Company kit, but they are obviously for firstborn Marines. Naturally, that means obviously the inner part's a bit smaller, so there was a little bit of chopping and, and messing about there, but I really love how they look. If you look here, actually, every single one of them has that, that Death Company X on them, um, and I, I really like that. I think it's such a cool effect, and uh, I wanted to make sure I get as many of these as possible. So um, starting off with the weapon itself, um, base of grey, made sure that we've got some uh, snake bite leather, probably the, the 
coolest contrast paint ever on the uh, on the leather bits here and then just gone ahead and done some of the details here as well i did want to do some thundery effect something like that but i i have not gone ahead and done that just yet might do it might not but i didn't want to ruin kind of the the effect there so we'll see how it looks on the final model and, and go from there but otherwise um going back to the the actual arm itself uh, exactly the same, Eschen Grey, Mechanicus Standard Grey, both dry brushed on in that order, and then uh, went ahead and did the, the red here. So that again is a screamer pink, and then I've started to highlight a little bit more with a, a bolder red, just to make sure it didn't look pink at the end of the day, and, and a bit different to the purity seal there as well. So uh, no, it looks really good. I'm really happy with how these have turned out, and all of them just have that variation and that different effect. So um, no, I'm really happy with the, how these guys have turned out. Uh, I especially like this one just that so you know it's not got the edge on the uh, on the plate there just a solid bit of red and it's got the cool blood vial there as well so uh, i think these are really cool arms actually but yeah they are ludicrously big if i just get the body as well actually and i just hold it up together um you know that's how it it looks that is like a ridiculous size look at that <laughs> um you know but you know that they they fly in and you know, do their thing in the first turn or, or second turn. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think it's going to be pretty cool, actually. So there you go. As long as you're not playing any sort of official tournaments or restricted model tournaments or anything like that. Uh, I guess I'll quickly do the heads. So I've just got these heads here. Um, went ahead exactly the same with the Eschen Grey and, and the Mechanica Standard Grey. And then I've just added some of the, sorry, some of the uh, details in there as well. Um to make them look a bit cooler and just in case any of the um, uh, neck is visible uh, when I put the models on I did want to make sure that once again scream a pink there just in between all the joints so that there's that effect there as well but nothing much to say about the heads uh, but they are some really cool firstborn heads I think my favorite one definitely has to be yes this one here the one with the X that's so cool love it absolutely love it really death company kind of feel and uh, next what is it the final thing to be honest with you i love doing these jump packs these was these were like a a, a project on into themselves so uh looking at the jump packs they've got so much cool detail on and to be fair um this is really what makes them death company marines and to make them pop uh i've not gone ahead and done any silver on the bottom here to be to be fair i wasn't sure that i really wanted to I'm, i might go ahead and do that but it's not like these are display pieces i just want to make them look cool and and uh you know be be ready for the battlefield so uh i really love some of the effects that we've got here as well to be honest with you the ropes there were awesome so uh just based everything black went over those with a, a an off-white so kind of a wraith bone and then uh, once again our, our friend snakebite leather did the rest of the work so really happy with that the uh, the wings here they were done white and then i think it was a blue ink that i used to to just get into those recesses and make that cool effect there and then obviously the 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 blood uh, was standard as a i think it was screamer pink as a base and then just another few reds to to highlight on top so really happy with how these have turned out i think they're going to look really cool and just to show you a few more this is such a cool one it's got all the different blood droplets there as well it's got the x's on the top there i left those as a screamer pink i think they give a really nice effect um but i did make sure i highlighted all of these uh little bits here as well so those are really cool um another one here as well uh which is a little bit more finicky because you've got the blood droplets there surrounded by the gold but i did want to make sure that the detail was there but i think these have come out really nicely to be honest with you so all in all i'm actually really excited about you know kind of putting all these things together and seeing how they all look uh, like i said i'm not the greatest artist in the world or anything like that uh, there's not really much i can teach anyone but i did take my time with these and uh, i really like the way that they've come out and to be fair the amount of effort that i've put into these guys is quite a lot for the fact that they're going to get shot off the board or <laughs> quite quickly uh, after they've done their initial charge and beat something up turn so um yeah i guess we'll just see how it goes and then uh i guess we'll go on to the uh what the final models look like when it's all glued up together right guys so i have got these guys finished now and all based up i'm just going to bring them in one by one and give them a little showcase yeah there's the guy he looks super cool love it And those uh, jetpacks look absolutely badass as well. So really happy with that so far. Uh, next guy that we've got, here we are. The hammer up there. Honestly, these hammers are <laughs> ridiculous. I love it. Um, 
maybe a little bit too cartoony, but there you go. Uh, I also went ahead and um, got the jetpacks done as well. I think that was really important. So I definitely got that done and uh, got the, a bit of purple in there to, to give some of that burnt, um, you know, uh, effect on the on the metal there. Probably not very good, but there you go. Uh, and also the fronts as well. Uh, also, I've gone and done a tiny bit of edge highlighting there as well. I'm not sure if it really matches with the rest of the model not having edge highlights, but there you go, but happy with that. Um, this jetpack looks really cool as well at the back there with all the blood droplets. And yeah, managed to get everyone in uh, a lot of cool poses, to be honest, so that's really nice. And all of these guys look quite unique, even though they've got the same arms. Uh, and the same weapons. Uh, this guy hunched down a little bit more, which looks really cool. Uh, I think the dynamic poses are awesome, and just a little bit of the tilt there on the uh, on the jetpack, so that's really nice. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, this guy here, who's kind of I don't know, he's got a different faceplate, so I'm guessing he's a bit more captainy or whatever. But yeah, I uh, I really like this, and of course, really big fan of the uh, the ropes there as well. So uh, hopefully, you guys like the ideas there and hopefully uh, you know you can try this out yourselves i i don't know why i've just put so much effort into into these guys um but uh, i just really like the idea of it like i said i was inspired by that uh that other youtube video from uh tabletop tactics so uh yeah hopefully uh this has been useful in some way um feel free to check us out on my instagram and all that sort of thing uh and there's also a link to my uh gaming groups uh, channel as well uh, which is just getting started so have a look and uh, let me know what you think cheers